In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the corrugated steel plate shear wall in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of beam, column, corrugated plate, and stiffeners. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the shear wall and following that its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In this picture the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. Also in this picture the deformation of the shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental Studies on Cyclic Behavior of Corrugated Steel Plate Shear Walls. In this picture, you can observe the hysteresis diagram drawn in the article. Also, in this picture, the deformation of the shear wall in the experimental model can be observed. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of the corrugated plate into the assembly module and rotate that 90 degrees about z-axis in this manner. Then I will transfer that to a proper place. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of the middle beam into the assembly section. In the next step, I will enter geometric shapes of stiffeners into the assembly section. In this table, the properties of different parts have been defined. First, I intend to define the properties of plates. So I'll click on general menu on density. The density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. In the next step, I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. Young modulus is equal to 170.3 gigapascal. 
I will enter Young modulus equal to 170.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 megapascal. And the Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, then on Plasticity and Plastic. The yield stress is equal to 290.59 megapascal and close the boundary condition of U1 for them. In this manner, the shear wall will be prevented from moving out of the plane. As you observe in this picture, a pipe has been utilized on the top section of the shear wall that will prevent the wall from moving out of the plane. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 25 millimeters and OK. Then I will click on mesh part and yes. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the model. Actually, I intend to draw this diagram. To do so, I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and Continue. Here, I'll select All Reaction Forces. Then click on Save As. I add all the reaction forces together. Click 
create XPy data, then select operate on XPy data and continue. I will select displacement, multiply that by 100, then divide that by 2750 millimeters. Actually, the figure 2750 millimeters is the distance between the place of loading and bottom of the model. In the next step, I'll click on Combine. First, select Drift, then Total Force, and then click on Save As. Here, you observe the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software. I will transfer that to the Excel software. The first column is Drift. The second one is Force, the unit of which is Newton. Here, the diagram drawn with blue color is the one having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly and properly in the Abacus software.